this is Charles with Simply Nuck at simplynuck.com. Today we have the first look at the new Nuck 7 i7 B&H. This is the Gen 7 Core i7 and it's the Baby Canyon. All right, we're going to take our first look. I just got this in. Uh, this is a pre-production unit from what I've been told and it is. This is not a prototype. The difference is you can see that it does have FCC and it looks like TUV. Uh, so it has a couple of the certifications. So they go from prototypes that have no label on the bottom at all, just a sticker that says that it's a prototype, to this version which is a pre-production and this should match what the production unit should look like. And while they go through additional certifications, they allow certain people to have access to these uh, early units. And I'm fortunate to be one of them. So we're going to take a look at it today. All right. So the first thing we have is the uh, uh, front. We've taken a look at the, the Core i5 already and the Core i3 and the slender chassis. And so this is not going to be any different. We're going to see the same things on the outside. You'll notice that the lid is solid. There's no power button or LEDs that's been moved to the front. We have the power button and power indicator light is in the button. And this rectangle is the drive activity LED, which can be, uh, some people find the flashing to be annoying. You can go into the BIOS and turn it on solid and you can change the colors which is really cool and I would recommend you do it because it really makes the, the Nook look uh, pretty awesome. Uh, you see nothing's really changed on the front we have the 3.5 millimeter TRRS port which allows you to run headphones and microphone or a headset and we have the two USB 3.0 connectors one's blue indicating it's USB 3.0 the other one, that orange color, is because it's the high amperage charging port for like charging your iPads or um, phones or whatever. Taking a look at the side, we have the mini or micro SD slot, rather, and we have the Kensington lock. And the other side, uh, you'll also you'll notice that much better ventilation holes. Um, I think Intel doesn't like to do all these holes because they think it affects the aesthetics, but I kind of like the look of it. I like the color that they've chosen for the, the new Baby Canyon models. And I think that these holes are fine. Uh, they're going to add quite a bit of, of cooling. And so I, I, I like it. I'm really looking forward to testing this guy. And then looking at the back, you'll see that we have our 19 volt uh, power DC power connector. This is a standard 5.5 millimeter outside diameter, 2.5 millimeter inside diameter, positive tip. And you can actually go from 12 volts to 24 volt DC. And yes, you can run this on your automotive or, or, or boat at 13.8, which is a typical voltage for mobile. And it will run at 13.8 just fine. We have a full size HDMI port and this is 4K at 60 Hertz. Now the way they accomplish this, the chipset doesn't have that capability. There's actually one of the chips from an active dongle built onto the motherboard. And so the, the DP connectors from the, the chip go into a chip, uh, from the graphics chip, go into this uh, uh, active adapter chip, and then it gives you HDMI. And that's full HDMI, 4K at 60 Hertz. We have our gigabit ethernet. Uh, this, these are the ventilation holes for the heat sink. The processor is right behind here. This heat sink is attached to the top of the processor. And then the blower is further back and it blows air across the heat sink. So this is hot air coming out, right, uh, from cooling the processor. And then we have two more USB 3.0 ports. And then we have a USB type C port and you see it has a little lightning bolt because this is a uh, Thunderbolt uh, 3 compatible port. Now Thunderbolt 2 is on the, the mini DisplayPort type connector. 
just because you see many display port doesn't mean that it's got Thunderbolt and just because you see one of these type C connectors does not mean that you have Thunderbolt but in this case the Core i5 and the Core i7 both do support Thunderbolt on the USB type C connector so this connector provides USB 3.1 which is 10 gigabits per second. It supports DisplayPort, so you can plug another monitor or a monitor chain into this connector. You can actually drive three displays from this connector uh, from the built-in GPU, not from external uh, GPUs. And you also have Thunderbolt at 40 megabits or 40 gigabits per second. This is Thunderbolt 3. And uh, the lid's removable, so if you want to customize uh, your lids, and Simply Knock is going to be um, offering different lids, both functional lids and uh, different colors. You can see the antennas uh, in here. These look like they have uh, coated them, so that if we put a metal lid on here, that we won't short out to the antennas. Um, so that's probably a good idea. I don't know if that costs any more for them to do. But these are the two antennas for your Wi-Fi. And they're under the plastic lid. Your blower is right here. The Southbridge chip is right about here. And the processor is right about here with the processor heat sink covering most of the processor. The blower blows across and exhausts the heat. All right. And I'm going to splice this video together. I'm, uh, so the next thing we'll do is show the inside. All right.